When I say that in this video we'll be exploring Jacek Malczewski's life and works, it means that we'll be delving deeper into his background, education, and artistic career, as well as his unique style and the themes and symbolism in his art. We'll also be discussing his legacy and influence on later artists and art movements. The goal is to provide viewers with a comprehensive understanding of Jacek Malczewski's significance in Polish art history and why his art continues to be relevant and meaningful today. Early Life Jacek Malczewski was born on July 15, 1854, in Radom, a city located in central Poland. He was the son of a respected lawyer, and his mother was a talented pianist. Malczewski's family was part of the Polish intelligentsia, which was a social class of educated professionals who valued Polish culture and traditions. As a child, Malczewski was exposed to the arts and literature, as his parents were both supporters of the Polish arts and cultural scene. He was particularly interested in literature, especially the romantic poetry of Adam Mickiewicz, which would later influence his art. Malczewski's upbringing was marked by the turbulent history of Poland, which was then under foreign rule. His family's commitment to Polish culture and traditions influenced his own beliefs and artistic expression. The sense of national identity and pride in Polish culture is a recurring theme in his work. Jacek Malczewski's interest in art was sparked during his youth, as he spent time drawing and painting in his spare time. However, it wasn't until he attended the Krakow Academy of Fine Arts that he received formal training and began to develop his artistic skills. At the Academy, Malczewski was influenced by several important artistic movements of the time, including realism and symbolism. He was also inspired by the work of artists such as Jan Mateczko, a Polish painter who specialized in historical scenes and epic themes. Malczewski's early work reflected the influence of realism, as he focused on depicting everyday scenes and ordinary people. However, his artistic style evolved over time as he began to incorporate more symbolic and mythical elements into his work. Malczewski's interest in Polish folklore and mythology also played a significant role in shaping his artistic style. He drew inspiration from Polish legends and tales, which he incorporated into his work in a symbolic and metaphorical way. Overall, Malczewski's interest in art was fueled by a combination of his natural talent, formal training, and exposure to various artistic movements and influences. His early work reflected a range of artistic styles and themes, which would later be synthesized into his unique and distinctive artistic vision. Career and Style Jacek Malczewski's artistic career spanned several decades and was marked by numerous accomplishments and exhibitions. After completing his studies at the Krakow Academy of Fine Arts, Malczewski began to establish himself as an artist. In 1879, he won a scholarship to study in Paris, where he was exposed to the latest artistic trends and developed his skills further. Throughout his career, Malczewski was known for his distinctive style, which blended elements of realism, symbolism, and Polish folklore. He often depicted historical and mythical scenes in a way that was both dramatic and symbolic. One of Malczewski's most significant accomplishments was his contribution to the development of Polish modernism. Along with other artists of his generation, he sought to create a distinctly Polish artistic style that reflected the nation's cultural identity. Malczewski's work was exhibited widely during his lifetime, including at the Zakita National Gallery of Art in Warsaw, the Sukianis Museum in Krakow, and the Paris Salon. In 1898, he was awarded a gold medal at the Exposition Universelle in Paris, which helped to further establish his reputation as an important artist. Today, Malczewski is recognized as one of the most important Polish artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His work continues to be celebrated and exhibited around the world, and he remains an important figure in the history of Polish art. Jacek Malczewski is known for several famous works that are considered significant in the history of Polish art. Here are some examples. Thanatos, 1898 This painting depicts the Greek god of death, Thanatos, and is considered one of Malczewski's most iconic works. The painting is striking for its use of color and dramatic composition, and is seen as a powerful expression of the human struggle with mortality. Melancholia, 1890 This painting depicts a woman in a state of melancholy, with her head resting on her hand. 
The painting is notable for its use of symbolism, including the hourglass and skull in the foreground, which suggests the fleeting nature of life. Melancholia is seen as a reflection of Malzuski's own struggles with depression and existential questions. Hamlet's Ghost, 1883 This painting depicts the ghost of Hamlet's father from Shakespeare's play, appearing to Hamlet in a misty landscape. The painting is significant for its use of literary inspiration and symbolism, and is seen as a reflection of Malzuski's interest in the dramatic and mythic. Maria, 1903 This painting depicts a young woman holding a candle, with a shadowy figure in the background. The painting is notable for its use of light and shadow, and is seen as a powerful expression of spiritual longing and mystery. These paintings, along with others by Malzuski, are significant in Polish art history for their use of symbolism, drama, and mythic themes. Malzuski's work is seen as a reflection of the broader artistic trends of his time, and as a significant contribution to the development of Polish modernism. Themes and Symbolism Jacek Malzuski's art is known for its rich symbolism and use of mythic themes drawn from Polish folklore, mythology, and religious imagery. These recurring motifs give his work a distinctive character and have made him one of the most celebrated Polish artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. One of the key themes in Malzuski's art is the idea of the Polish soul, which he sought to express through his work. This idea is often represented through symbols drawn from Polish folklore and mythology, such as the figure of the Lelowa, a mythic bird associated with the noble class in Polish folklore, or the Wawel dragon, a legendary creature from Krakow. Religious imagery is also a significant element in Malzuski's art. He often drew on Christian themes and symbols, such as the crucifix, to explore spiritual themes and the human condition. In many of his paintings, he used religious imagery in a symbolic way to express universal human experiences such as suffering, death, and redemption. Another recurring theme in Malzuski's art is the struggle between light and darkness, both in a literal and metaphorical sense. This theme is often expressed through the use of chiaroscuro, the contrast of light and shadow, and through the depiction of symbolic figures such as angels and demons. Overall, Malzuski's art is notable for its use of symbolic motifs drawn from Polish folklore, mythology, and religious imagery. These motifs give his work a distinctive character and have made him an important figure in the history of Polish art. Jacek Malzuski's use of symbolic motifs and themes drawn from Polish folklore, mythology, and religious imagery was not just an aesthetic choice, but also a way for him to comment on contemporary issues and express his own worldview. For example, Malzuski's use of the Polish soul motif was often interpreted as a reflection of his concern for the state of the nation during a time of political and cultural upheaval. He sought to create a distinctly Polish artistic style that would reflect the nation's cultural identity and heritage, and to use art as a means of promoting national consciousness and unity. Similarly, his use of religious imagery was often a way for him to express his own spiritual concerns and beliefs as well as to explore universal themes of human experience such as suffering, death, and redemption. In addition, Malzuski's use of mythic themes and symbols was often a way for him to comment on contemporary social and cultural issues. For example, his painting The Temptation of St. Anthony, 1896, can be interpreted as a critique of materialism and decadence in contemporary society, while his painting The Death of Eleni, 1904, can be read as a reflection on the struggle between traditional values and modernity. Overall, Malzuski's use of symbolic motifs and themes was a way for him to engage with contemporary issues and express his own worldview, while also drawing on the rich cultural and artistic heritage of his country. His art remains an important reflection of the cultural and political concerns of his time, and a testament to the power of art to comment on the human condition. Legacy and Influence Jacek Malzuski's legacy as one of Poland's most celebrated artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries continues to be felt today. His use of symbolic motifs and themes drawn from Polish folklore, mythology, and religious imagery inspired a generation of artists who sought to create a distinctly Polish artistic style. Malzuski's influence can be seen in the work of later Polish artists such as Stanislaw Wyspiański and Józef Mayhofer, who were part of the Young Poland movement. 
This movement sought to revitalize Polish art and literature by drawing on the country's rich cultural and artistic heritage, and it owed a great deal to Malczewski's pioneering use of symbolism and mythic themes. Malczewski's influence also extended beyond Poland, as his work was exhibited widely in Europe and he was known and respected by artists such as Gustav Klimt and Edvard Munch. His use of symbolism and mythic themes had a significant impact on the development of symbolism as an artistic movement, which flourished in Europe in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Today, Malczewski's legacy is celebrated in Poland and beyond, with his work remaining an important part of the cultural heritage of the country. His paintings can be found in museums and private collections around the world, and his use of symbolic motifs and themes continues to inspire artists who seek to explore universal human experiences through the use of powerful and evocative imagery. Jacek Malczewski's work has been celebrated and honored in a variety of ways in Poland and around the world. In Poland, Malczewski is regarded as one of the country's most important artists and his work is celebrated in museums, galleries, and public spaces. His paintings can be found in many of the country's major art museums, including the National Museum in Warsaw, the National Museum in Krakow, and the Silesian Museum in Katowice. Malczewski has also been honored with numerous exhibitions and retrospectives throughout Poland, including a major exhibition at the National Museum in Warsaw in 2018 to mark the 150th anniversary of his birth. His work has also been celebrated in academic and cultural circles, with conferences, symposia, and publications dedicated to his life and work. Outside of Poland, Malczewski's work has been exhibited and honored in many countries around the world, including the United States, Germany, France, and Italy. His influence on the development of symbolism has been recognized by art historians and critics, and his work continues to inspire artists and scholars alike. In addition to these institutional honors, Malczewski has been commemorated in popular culture as well. His paintings have been featured on postage stamps and banknotes, and his name has been used for a variety of cultural institutions, including a theater in Alston and a cultural center in Krakow. Overall, Jacek Malczewski's contribution to Polish art and culture has been widely recognized and celebrated, both in his home country and around the world. His legacy as one of the most important artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries remains an important part of the cultural heritage of Poland and a testament to the enduring power of art to shape and reflect the human experience. Conclusion If you're interested in art and culture, then learning more about Jacek Malczewski and his art is definitely worth your time. As one of Poland's most important artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Malczewski's work is an important part of the country's cultural heritage and continues to inspire artists and art enthusiasts around the world. By exploring Malczewski's paintings, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the symbolism and mythic themes that were central to his work, as well as the social and political issues that he sought to address through his art. You'll also discover the ways in which his work has influenced subsequent generations of artists, both in Poland and beyond. If you're in Poland, you can visit some of the major museums and galleries that house Malczewski's paintings such as the National Museum in Warsaw, the National Museum in Krakow, and the Silesian Museum in Katowice. You can also attend exhibitions and retrospectives dedicated to his work, which are held regularly throughout the country. Even if you can't make it to Poland, there are plenty of resources available online that can help you learn more about Malczewski and his art. You can explore his paintings on museum websites, read articles and books about his life and work, and even watch videos that delve into his artistic process and the cultural context in which he worked. So if you're interested in art and culture, I encourage you to take some time to explore the work of Jacek Malczewski and discover for yourself the enduring power and beauty of his art. Thank you for watching this video on Jacek Malczewski and his art. I hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more art history content. We're dedicated to bringing you the stories behind some of the world's greatest artists and their masterpieces. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know about our new videos, which cover everything from the Renaissance to contemporary art. Once again, thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more fascinating stories with you in the future.